Many consumers think that you should wash your chicken before you cook it. Is that a safe practice? From a food safety standpoint, it's a bad idea because we can potentially spread any bacteria that may be on the surfaces of, in this case, our chicken item to all other areas of our preparation area, cutting boards, sink, countertops, pans, etc. And we can potentially make that food safety hazard even worse. If we aren't sure what the pressures in our sink are, you can see that just simply splattering juices everywhere is not a good practice. In fact, some chicken as we purchase it has a lot of the giblets still left inside and we could be splattering and spreading any bacteria that may be on this item all over our preparation area. Well, what if I'm really careful? I mean, isn't there a way to contain it or if I use a colander or something like that? Even then, it's not a good idea because bacteria can sometimes be so tightly attached to surfaces that even washing it is still not going to get rid of it. There are better ways to go about making sure that the meat that you prepare for your family is safe. What do you do in your own home to transfer it to a pan and make sure that you're not splattering the juice? I like to start by simply just making a small cut or tear in the corner of the package. Oh yeah, I can see the juice is coming out right now. And then we can just simply pour those into the sink slowly so that we're not splattering any of the juices anywhere. So now that I have that drain, for the most part, I can simply set it on a tray or a pan and finish opening that package either with scissors or knife. And I just want to open it just enough. I can tear the rest of the package with my fingers and slowly pull that out of the package. And as you can see, there's still some juice left in the package that I want to make sure that I contain and slowly empty into the sink and then finish washing the sink out in that preparation area to make sure that I'm not further spreading any germs or bacteria in my preparation area. So if you're concerned that there are bacteria on your meat or poultry, do you just put it directly in the oven? Actually, yes. Cooking is still by far the best and safest way to make sure that you prepare a nice, safe, wholesome meal for your family. There are many other aspect, aspects of cooking that we need to consider. For example, using a meat thermometer when we are cooking to make sure that we are ensuring proper cooking temperatures. Chicken, as we know, should be cooked to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Our ground meats should be cooked to at least a minimum temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And then even lower temperatures for our whole muscle cuts, things like steaks, roast, and other whole, whole muscle items can be cooked to a minimum temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, as long as we hold that item for about three minutes to have a rest time prior, prior to slicing and serving. Is this really a common practice to a lot of consumers wash their chicken? So unfortunately, there's still a lot of consumers out there, my mother included, who simply believe that washing our meat items is still a safe practice. In fact, Drexel University and Jennifer Quinlan along with New Mexico State University, have actually dedicated a website called Don't Wash Your Chicken, in which they spend a lot of time educating consumers on the fact that this is not a safe food practice for preparation in our homes. So it sounds like cooking is the best thing to do to make sure bacteria are destroyed. Cooking is obviously the best and safest way to make sure that we have that safe and wholesome product for our families.